Hello everyone, Apple Buff here. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about a software that you should download if you want to transfer WhatsApp chat data from Android to iPhone easily and safely. So without a further ado, let's jump straight into the video and check it out. So the name of the software is iCareFone WhatsApp Transfer which comes from the house of Tenorshare and for those who don't know what Tenorshare is all about to them I would like to tell the fact that Tenorshare is one of the leading companies when it comes to making softwares plus they are a trustable source. So getting back to the featured product for the day that is iCareFone WhatsApp Transfer which basically is one of the best tools when it comes to backup and transfer the WhatsApp chat data between iPhone and Android. It is a free software that can be downloaded from the official site and but of course the link to the site is in the description so don't forget to check that out. Once you have installed the software either on your Mac or Windows laptop, just run the software. On running the software you will realize that the interface is pretty neat and straightforward. On the home page you will find a list of quite a few social apps. But since you need to backup and transfer your WhatsApp data, you need to click on WhatsApp. Once selected, now connect both the devices to your computer. As I said before, it could be an iPhone and an Android or two iPhones or two Android phones. So for this video, I would be transferring my WhatsApp chat data from my OnePlus 6 to my iPhone 6s. That's my secondary phone. One thing to note is that the source, that's the device from which you are willing to transfer the data should be on your left and the destination phone should be on the right. Once connected, just click on transfer. If one device is an Android phone, you need to enable the option for USB debugging from the settings app. And one of the best things that you will see is that the software does provide you with the screenshot to help you enable USB debugging as per your phone. Once the steps of USB debugging is done, a small pop-up will show up asking you if you wish to override the WhatsApp data. I suggest you to read the information carefully and then click on continue. And as a result of the previous action, iCareFone will start backing up the WhatsApp chat data in the source device. Now the software will start getting the WhatsApp data from the source phone. And following the previous instructions, the software requires you to confirm your WhatsApp number. Just after you verify your WhatsApp number, the software will start generating the data that can be restored. Once done, you need to log out of WhatsApp on the source phone but at the same time make sure that you log in to WhatsApp on the destination phone because if you don't do that, the data won't be visible. After that, just click on logged in. If your destination phone is an iPhone, then make sure that you turn find my iPhone settings off from the settings app. Now the transfer of data will officially begin. Another thing to note is that the time it takes to finish the transfer absolutely depends on the data that you have in your source phone. Once the transfer has successfully completed, you can now unplug both the devices and use your phone like usual. It's that simple. So that's how you can back up and transfer the WhatsApp data easily and without spending much of your time. So with that being said, this is Apple Buff signing off. Catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.